Hi, David Chisholm back with you. I'm in a uh, Spanish bungalow here located in Bungalow Heaven. It's a four block little area with nothing but California style bungalows. This one happens to be Spanish. Uh, purchased by a friend of ours in 2003. The problem that they had was there was no French doors here. There was no patio. This was all dirt. Literally all dirt. They wanted a means of getting out from their bedroom into the outdoor space here where they enjoy uh, reading and relaxing with their children and, and their pets. What we, I suggested and what we did was we popped some French doors here, did two steps onto an elevated, slightly elevated brick patio. The brick patio border I chose to elevate, give it a little bit of a, a, little bit of a different feel from, from the ground level. It's, uh, the border is set in cement and the center of these bricks uh, are set in sand so that they drain a little bit better. Of course, I didn't want to touch this beautiful Japanese maple. We kind of wanted to design around that, and we did. Uh, a lot of the ferns you see in this, in this yard and the jade has been transplanted, it cost us nothing. Transplanted from the front of the yard, some of the hedges as well. Uh, you'll see some uh, variegated society garlic. You're gonna see some red sun azaleas. We have some white gardenias. Um, we have agave. These beautiful red bougainvilleas climb up this, this wall, and as you can see, the red is starting to come in. It's absolutely beautiful in the summer. Uh, again, we have some society garlic. And then back here, you can see we chose, since this was just dirt, and it's a rectangular, very squared off property, including the house, it's, it's very rectangular. We wanted to bring some curved lines to the flower beds uh, to give it a little bit of different feel, a little bit of texture, and soften some of the the hard edges. Uh, the mo one of the more important things uh, for this whole design was to have a focal point, uh, some visual to bring your attention out from the house or the patio back to the back portion of this yard. And uh, we did that with the fountain. We also included a little gravel area here for table and chairs to just chill out and be a real quiet area for them. Um, also, we, uh, they had a few three bird houses that they were doing nothing with. And I thought, well, you know, this is the neighbor's garage. It's a great backdrop. Why don't we put the three little bird houses that you love so much on some posts and, uh, and we'll plant around them. And so that's what we did. The last project that I'm going to do here is two raised garden beds and a shed. And the shed's going to have Spanish tile. It's going to be on posts. It's going to be set on a brick uh, surface and it's going to match exactly the house um, for aesthetic purposes. Alright, on to the next.